Hello, welcome again. We're here for round 15 in Suzuka, Japan. Probably one of my most favorite tracks to race on. It's actually a favorite track of mine we're actually usually pretty quick at. We're here on the qualifying lap, in case you're wondering why there is no Singapore race. I uh, accidentally deleted the footage and completely before I rendered out the thingy because I already thought I did. So that's the race is gone, uh, but short stop it was uh, started dry, started well, then it started to rain and then my car was awful and I parked it into the wall and that was race over. So, uh, there's so much pace in the way in this in this game it's not funny. That's why I hate rain races. I mean I deal left in hot time, definitely just more frustration. Somehow whatever I do, even if I drive with the wet weather set up, the car be just becomes undrivable for me. And slightly losing traction every which way possible. Fortunately for me though, in Suzuka it's gonna stay dry for the entire weekend, though there's not much sun to be seen. Now we're hitting the last part of the track into Spoon, down to fourth. It's gonna wait a long time to put the power on, even then slightly too soon, the weather back end wants to kick out a little bit. Not too bad though. Purple so far, of course, well I'm the first man out on track, so of course I would set a purple that time. AI is back on, um, yeah, expert AI. Very tricky corner that one, that last one. It's very bumpy. Easy to lose the rear anyway. And I've set a 140.118, which is good enough for. Third boy is not bad. Three tens off the leader. Very close to Lewis Hamilton there, Sebastian Vettel fourth, Daniel Ricciardo in fifth. So he had a pretty good qualifying. But I think he had a penalty. Which threw him down the order. I'm not sure what he did because the game never really shows what Nayakar has done wrong to deserve a penalty. It only shows you what your incidents were, if there were any. So getting into the car for the race. Yep, he did get the penalty, so you know he wasn't fifth now it's Alonso over there. Buttons moves up into ninth. Skiviet says Vern, Sutil, Grosjean, Maldonado, there's Ricardo. Gutierrez, and then the two force in the S17 and 18. So they and an abysmal qualifying well, probably penalties too, I think. No, it's pretty strange qualifying. Quickly checking my setup if that's all loaded correctly. Just checking, making sure there's no rain for the race. It's pretty hopeful on tire wear, huh? so you're gonna see me make a bit of a gamble here as I wonder if I can make it. Two option stints, nine laps each. Then we'll probably be pushing it as far as I thought. So, bam. Still thinking, <laughs> still not sure. And there you go. We're going for it. or not. Getting out there. In third place, pretty good place to be. There's Button. Further down, of course. Five races remaining and you've still got a chance of winning the driver's title. Well, apparently I still have a chance to win driver's title, which I find very unlikely since the Lurks guys are just a tad too quick. On the whole. Decent start, so they passed by Vettel and Alonso right under there, but they slowed down massively. I almost ran into Vettel. This might just move my slot in behind Nico. 
bit slippery there on the first lap, and I take it easy. Oh, there you go. Not a lot of grip on my tyres at the moment. Got some distance. And up one there to be going to deck number one and deck number two. Only one of the few corners I know on this track. Spoon being the other one. It's actually a double apex. So. Vettel wants to ram in through the right side. It's not going to work. Upsets me in the hairpin. And, uh, Bit with the move from the AI vessel. But it's all right. Nothing is lost, nothing is gained for me. Nicely down the third, a bit heavy still. Trying to get the power, and the back end kicks out. He does. No surprise to there. Red Bull looking in to pass me and go a bit wide. No reason at all. It's easily flat out through that corner. Too much good. Decent traction out of that corner at the red line, but Rosberg is gone. 2.4 seconds at the end of lap one. Vettel is still with me, 0 0.5 seconds behind. Cautiously there into turn one and two. Now on the plate though, lap three. With a bit of a gap to Vettel, he's outside my DRS now, which is important. 1.2 seconds of the gap. Alonso is with him. Ricardo has already climbed his way up to 10th place. That's a three laps. We hit it. Awesome, awesome start. There we go. Lap four. 1.6, Rosberg is now 4.8 seconds away, does the first lap 141.829, over a second quicker than me at the moment, as I set a purple sector into lap 4 somewhere, right, lap 6, so 7, 3.5, so Vettel is losing pace now, so it's a bit of a safety margin into the hairpin, Moving on us all, very nice, no wheel spin. A little bit wide, coming out of spoon. Back end a little bit, lap 8, one more lap after this to go. Here we go, lap 9 already, not much happens. Except Rosberg just pulling away, and I'm pulling away from on that Bottas that I pitted the lap before. It's slippery and slide, the tyres are absolutely shot as you can see. As I drive to the box. Ricardo is now in 6th place. Did very well for himself. Moving to lap 10 now. Rosberg is now 2nd. And actually my teammate, they're going to the SS now as you can see maybe on the minimap. The button is in the lead. And now I'm my only guy in the 2nd stint who has two option stints, so I could make some headway maybe on Nico Rosberg ahead of me. He's quite a ways ahead, but maybe if the button can hold him up for a lap. Probably I could make some advantage. So here we go, lap 11. Close lap. Going through the S's, just gonna have to show it, because it's, it's a goddamn great section to drive in. Through the gears into seven purple sector 10.8 seconds is the gap to Nico Rosberg. So I am quicker now at the end of the lap. I set a 141.780, 10.5 is the gap. A lap later, lap 12. We're not done yet. Into a 141.3, 9.8 seconds as they get. We're catching Rosberg to keep it up. Next couple of laps were quite consistent, which is good. As we find my first back marker in the shape of a slow moving Caterham of Ericsson. Now, of course, we're going to the tires to Lap 16.
doing a 141.7, so four tenths drop off at the moment, it's not too bad. Up 17, slowly been eating away at the gap, a bit of a uh, crappy exit. Has to happen. Going wide now as well. Through a spoon, have to go slow. Back up wants to go, a less critical of the dust. Tires are not happy. 18, another pit stop. Pushing as hard as I can. I want to go to low mix, but I pressed the wrong button. That's Rosberg ahead of me. Got a quite a bit 6.8 points of the time in, and I might be a bit off. A bit more as far as I remember. Uh, this final pit stop. Should be more than good to the end, so I can use them a little bit. Ricardo now in third at the moment. He still has to pit, so he's done a very good race. That's a back marker now. That might seem. Kobayashi meeting him into spoon. Dip on the round the outside. Bit off wind makes it tricky. 6.7 is the gap. I am sort of been gaining on him, slowly for surely. That's Bianchi. Not really a problem. We'll dive into the hairpin. Short ship, but still get a little spin in third. Down to 6.1. You're catching him. 25 seconds that one behind is no issue whatsoever. Bit of a uh, spin at the top of the hill. Even 5.1 as you can see. It's too much, Rosberg is too far away. And then this little last lap didn't help me either. 5 seconds is the gap in the last lap of the race. There's some back markers in the way as I go wide. Here's the apex. A messy overtake. Ericsson got left by somebody else. And I'm meeting them in the S's where I don't really want to pass a back marker. It sets my whole run through the corners and doesn't really help me to go any faster. That's the curb, there's the car a little bit. Need to be careful. There you go, already six cents slower. Rosberg gains 5.4 seconds. There's another back marker in my way. It's safe to say unless Rosberg has a technical failure. I uh, will remain second in this race, but it's a good solid result, good race space. Beat one Mercedes, a bit lucky the other one was stuck behind the Red Bull. And then Maldonado is a bit indecisive, I go past, I go wide off track. I'm going to go drop down the third. Ruins the whole corner, and that pretty much is, uh, yeah. Any hope of first place ever, which I already didn't, he didn't have. 1.7 seconds slower, it creates a little bit of a more of a gap. But it was necessary. He's in the middle of a pack of back markers, I reckon, by the looks of it. Crosses the finish line now. Anyway, can be happy. Not bad of a result at all. Plan always wants me to finish first, even though the car is inadequate in that sense. But on my favorite track, I did all right. Second place, 18 points. Race, just fantastic. 18 Jensen, points. actually, look at that. He got sixth place, so he did very well today, picking up eight points for himself, which is uh, very good for him. He's usually in the from 8th or uh, or lower, so he did very well. And Danny Ricardo all starting 15th, coming up to 5th, basically where he originally qualified after his penalty. Nico and Perez also made it up with that. Nico actually picking up one point as well, coming in from 17th. Alonso dropped down, we did not have a good day. He's in 14th. 
means I think I pass him. I'm not sure if I already. No, I didn't pass him in the pre two races ago. We didn't force did not score point. Last time, I, let's see. I am. Yeah, a little bit more ahead of him anyway. I had 20 points ahead, so I was already in front of him by two points in the, the previous Grand Prix. But gained some ground on Daniel Ricciardo, so I should be able to. Uh, Grab him if I keep uh, scoring the points. Be nice to that means that Red Bull will be an option if I beat him. In the standings, I could take the Red Bull car, and I will still have sort of done it. All by in a roundabout way for moving from Toro Rosso to the Red Bull team within a year. That would be uh, kind of funny. Next race up is the Russian Grand Prix. The semi-permanent street circuit in the Olympic Park. So, enjoy the celebrations and I'll see you for the next race. Bye-bye.